Greetings, my brethren. We are so glad to come to you with words from the word and sharing with you on this matter. If a man die, will he rise again? The truth of the matter is we can be sure about this because of the evidence that we have in the word of God. Before we get into the word today, I'm anxious to share with you so that this matter will be sealed in our hearts. The songwriter James M. Black, he said, let us labor for the master from the dawn till the setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. In the curse, he said, when the roll is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. Now, James can have this assurance. John can have this assurance. You can have this assurance. I can have this assurance and everyone can have this assurance based on the word of God. I have proven in my lifetime that the word of God is true. Every promise of it is true. We have our hope based on the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Our hope is based on the resurrection of Jesus Christ. When a man dies, will he rise again? Yes, he will rise again. The Bible said, if ye believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. But the question is, do you believe that Jesus died and rose again? No? Well, let me take you to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. I know the majority said yes, but maybe one or two persons are still doubtful of this fact that Jesus died and rose again. If you would have just spare me the time, I would show you what the scripture says. In 1 Corinthians 15, verse number 12 down to verse number 19, here's what the Bible says. Now, if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection? of the dead. Now, there were those who believed that Jesus Christ was risen from the dead, but they were saying, no, when a man dead, he's done. There'll be no resurrection from the dead. So Paul said, if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how are you saying that there is no resurrection from the dead? Look at verse 13. But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? Wow. So he based the resurrection of the believer on the fact that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. He said, if there's no resurrection of the dead, then Christ is not risen. Verse 14, he said, and if Christ be not risen, then our preaching is vain. In other words, if Christ is not risen from the dead, we may as well hush. Then your faith is also vain. He said, yea, in verse 15, and we are found false witnesses of God because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. In verse 16, for if the dead rise not, he said, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ is not raised, your faith is vain and you are yet in your sin. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perish. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruit of all them that slept. I love that. In other words, my resurrection, my life 
is based on Christ's life. If Christ is not risen, okay, that's it for me. But if Christ is risen from the dead, then the believer will also rise. If Christ did not die and was not risen from the dead, he said, then our preaching is vain, our faith is vain, ye are yet in your sins, ye those who have died have perished, then there will be no future reunion. But we know for sure that Christ died, was buried, and rose from the dead. Oh, you may say to me, but preacher, how do you know that for sure? I'm glad that you asked. The reason why I can say with assurance that this happened, because there are eyewitnesses. This is not something we assume. There are eyewitnesses. If I take you to John chapter 20 and verse number 17, the Bible said, Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father, but go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father and your Father and to my God and to your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things unto her. Oh, there are many who witness Jesus' bodily resurrection. And here, Jesus Christ first appeared to Mary Magdalene. In Matthew chapter 28, and if we look at verse number 9 and verse number 10, the Bible said, And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, all hail, and they came and held him by the feet and worship him. And Jesus said unto them, Be not afraid, go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there they shall see me. Here again, he appeared to a group of women. But if you come with me to Luke chapter 24, verse number 13 to verse number 17, here's what the scripture said. And behold, two of them, watch this, went that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem about three score for long, and they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, Jesus himself drew near. What happened? Jesus himself drew near unto them. And watch this. And their eyes were holding that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of communication are these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are sad? Continue reading that text and you would see that he appeared to these men. He appeared to the disciples on the Emmaus road. But you know something? The very man who denied him in chapter 24 of Luke and in verse number 34, the Bible said, he said, saying, the Lord is risen indeed and had appeared to Simon. Oh, and verse number 33 said, and they rose up the same hour and returned to Jerusalem and found 11 gathered together and them that were with them saying, the Lord is risen indeed and appeared unto Simon Peter. So he appeared to Mary Magdalene. He appeared to a group of women. He appeared to Peter. He appeared to the disciples on the Emmaus road. But if you look at verse number 33, down to verse number 36, he appeared to the 11 disciples. Look at verse 35. And they told what things were done in the way and how he was known of them in the breaking of the bed. And as they thus spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. Wow. 
over and over in the scripture, we have the eyewitnesses of Jesus Christ after his death that he arose from the dead. He said, if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even them also with sleep in Jesus, will God bring with him? If you're not convinced, I'll come back next morning and share with you some more eyewitnesses who will tell you today if you were in front of them, Jesus Christ is alive. I can tell you today, Jesus Christ is alive. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. If you don't know him, get to know him by trusting him as your savior. Father, thank you so much that our savior is alive forevermore. My Jesus is alive. And because he lives, we too can live. And there are those, Lord, who need new life in Christ today. And as they cry out to you, oh God, I know that you will give them this new life. For you said, if we'll confess, you're faithful and you're just to forgive and to cleanse from all unrighteousness. We love you. We praise you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, absent from this body is present with the Lord because Jesus Christ is alive.